What is going on guys? Money Webby here. Hopefully you guys had a great night last night. Some good calls in the video. Nikolai Vucevic won freaking off. He won for 63 DK points in that game without Aaron Gordon returning 8.5 times value. So if you had him in your lineup, you're looking good just with him. And also Anthony Davis had a great night. 70 drafting points, 6 times uh, 6.7 times value there, and Terry Rozier had a nice little game, 6 times value for him with that extra minutes with Marcus Smart out for the Celtics, so some good calls in the video, hope you guys ran those guys out in your lineups, and leave a like in the video before we start getting going, the likes have been crazy, so keep that, guy, keep that going guys, I really appreciate it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get these winning DraftKings picks every single day, so let's just go get into it right off the bat. First play is going to be James Johnson with um, Hassan Whiteside looking out for this game. I think James Johnson is going to get some extra usage here, and he's only 5,200. We saw last year he was having some big games off the bench with this team. In only 19 uh, minutes last game, he got in some foul trouble with five, tr with five fouls, but he got 11 points. 8 assists and 4 rebounds. He kind of runs like a little point guard type role off the bench with this Miami team. And if he gets a start in this game, he'll be getting around 30 minutes as long as he doesn't get in foul trouble again. So I think he can have a huge game at only 5,200. I honestly think he can get up to 40 plus drafting points in this game against the Pacers, which projects as one of the fastest paced games in this slate. So I really like him at 5,200. So definitely lock him in to your lineup. So next up, we got another guy that's going to be getting some more usage with Kawhi Leonard out for this game. At 7,700, we saw Marcus Aldridge have a great game without Kawhi. 48 drafting points against Minnesota, which actually has a pretty solid defense down low with Towns down there. But against Chicago, they have no one to stop Aldridge. It might get a little ugly towards the end of the game, but I think Aldridge can do enough to return five times value plus in this spot. And if it stays close, then Aldridge is going to have a huge game here. So lock him in to your lineups. And next up, we got a guy that looks like he might end up winning the MVP this year. He's posting huge numbers. It might be a little bit early, but Giannis at 10,800. They haven't really adjusted the price yet to how he's how good he's been doing. 62 drafting points and 63 in the first two games. Just crazy numbers like the high field goal percentage. He's getting rebounds a lot. Some assists, some blocks, some steals. He really can do it all. So he's one of the safest options in DraftKings just considering how much he does. So he can't really blow up in your face. And also he just has that huge upside with everything that he does. You can get a triple-double every single night. And he's going against the Trailblazers as well. Both these teams are on a back-to-back. -back, but the Trailblazers, they like to push the pace a little bit. So I think Giannis can benefit from that, getting some more opportunities for drafting points. And at only 10,800, I honestly think he can return uh, maybe even close to six times value in this spot at the price tag. So lock him in to your lineups. And next up, we're going to another guy that played last night, but he really didn't do that much. He had a tough matchup against um, CJ McComb, who's one of the better defenders in our league at shooting guard. So we only, he only shot 5 for 17, but that usage rate has been there for him on his new team in Indiana. They really don't have a good score. So I think Oladipo, like I said in my first video, he's going to have a huge year, one of his career years, because he's going to be the number one option on offense against Miami, they don't have white side here, so Oladipo should have an easy task of driving to the hoop with no really uh, with no real defense down low, and also an easier matchup on the outside against their shooting guards. So I think Oladipo can have a big game here, 6,800. Uh, he could have had a monster game against Brooklyn in the first game, but he got in some foul trouble there, only 25 minutes, but he got us 41 drafting points. I think he can get close to that in the spot again, as long as he's on the court for 30 plus minutes, he's gonna have a huge game. Here, so definitely lock them in to your lineups. And for my fifth and final play, it's going to be a very cheap option here with Alfred Payton out. He is hurt with a hamstring injury. DJ Augustine should be drawing the start at only 3,100 going against Cleveland. And they're also missing their point guard here with Derek Rose. So Jose Calderon will draw the start. So I think Augustine has an easy matchup here at only 3,100. He doesn't even do, do that much at all to return value. I think he can honestly get up to 30 drafting points considering what he's done as a pro and he's gotten minutes. He's been a solid underrated point guard throughout his career, one of the better backup point guards in the league. So if he can start here, he'll get some extra minutes, some extra shots going up. And 23 minutes last game against Brooklyn, he got his 22 drafting points. So I think he can approach 30 drafting points in this spot. Tremendous value. So lock him in 
to your lineup. So that's the top five. You got Giannis, Oladipo, James Johnson, Aldridge, and DJ Augustine. And for my Dollar Tree play of the day, another guy that gets a huge boost with injuries and everyone just being out at point guard. For the Mad Mavericks, uh, J.J. Barea at 4,200. He's in a tremendous spot here against Houston, who has really no one at point guard to stop him. Chris Paul is hurt. They got like Eric Gordon and James Harden playing kind of the point guard role for this team. Both are bad defenders. So I think Barrera can score a little bit. He can load up the assist as well as we saw last game. In 27 minutes, he got 10 assists and 9 points. Good for 29 drafting points. So with that extra minute log, for Brea available. He doesn't really need to do that much in the minutes he's giving. He just needs the return value at 4,200. So all he needs to really get is around 20 drafting points. And that seems like clockwork for Brea the first two games. In the first game, he only got 18 minutes. So if he just has like a semi-decent game, he can easily return five times value. But I think we'll have a good game here because the matchup is just so good. And Houston will make the game a little bit more fast-paced here. So I love Brea in this spot. Definitely lock him in to your lineups, and that leaves you with 6,100 remaining per player. Definitely enough money to fill out this lineup if you want to roll out these guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A ton of value opening up with these injuries earlier in the year, early in the year. So I definitely love these plays, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Definitely subscribe as well to get these DraftKings picks every single day. So good luck tonight, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow, Sunday. Probably not making a video. There's only like three games during the middle of the day. So we'll see you back on Monday.